Situation Update. My name is Daniel Vallis from InformedChristians.com, a website ministry devoted to discerning current events from a Christian perspective. This is a warning, but it is not a prediction. I do not know the future. I am just merely reporting on what I see going on right now. And right now it is 9.30 in the morning in Israel, Jerusalem. On day 15, they are enjoying their Purim Shushan when it is celebrated in Jerusalem, the groups that do observe it by the proper calendar. And there are some that observe it today. So it's still in the middle of celebration. Here in Alabama, though, right now, it's 1.30 in the morning. And it's a little bit early for me, but... So we still have several more hours of Purim to go in this window and I just wanted to make a brief situation video to remind people to think of the pattern and shadow in that when we look at radar we can see that it could possibly extend a little bit further beyond just Purim. Here's a picture I took just a few minutes ago just looking up into the sky almost directly right ahead for me was the almost full moon and Jupiter almost right next to it. Very beautiful. We have a clearing sky right now, but very beautiful. So this celestial sign is right toward the end of the Purim time frame, but there's still a number of hours to go. And that reminds us that we see a lot going on right now, particularly this week. And I really want to make this video right now, even before Purim is over, to let you know to consider this whole entire week, not just the Purim time frame. I don't know the future. Again, write that down. You should still have your piece of paper with it written down on it. You could draw a circle around this whole week because so much has been pointing to this week. We saw the Star Bethlehem signs pointing very directly at Purim. But then when we look at the context of everything else going on, we see a lot more pointing that this week is very particularly of importance. So we need to keep that in mind. If nothing happens on Purim, that doesn't mean we just throw the baby out with the bathwater. There's still this entire week is very high on our radar. And just like we talked about before, even with Passover, the fulfillment of that, the shadows came very close. So we should not be surprised even with Purim that there's a lot pointing to this time, but the fulfillment may not necessarily always come the way we expect it right on the day. It can be a few days before or after, and we still see a lot pointing to this week when we consider that the five celestial planet signs, that sign that has been going on for a month, that ended on the 20th, technically. The very next day was when the Purim time frame started. So a lot was drawing our attention toward this time, especially with the celestial signs. And then right away, the Purim time frame started with the celestial signs that we saw pointing into that as well, as well as the Star of Bethlehem signs. But then consider the context. We also have the peace and safety calls, which means that sudden destruction is coming. So even if nothing happens within this particular Purim time frame, we see a lot building up toward something big happening very soon. And of course, the sign of Jonas is ending this week as well. What was the sign of Jonas? The sign of Jonas was repent that judgment is coming. And when we look at the time frame, if that is running out this week too, then that can also add credence to the idea that Christ might possibly come this week as well. Because he told us he was coming during the days of Noah. And he described the whole checklist of coming during the days when people did not expect judgment to come. So when we look at just the sign of Jonas alone, 40 days, that's going to be ending about the end of the 26th, if you count the fast of Jonah and Nineveh, which was three days. And then the next day was when the Jonah storm went to Washington, D.C. and then started its big path from there. But even a few days before the fast of Jonah and Nineveh started, there were mass whale beachings going on then. So I think we can consider the fast of Jonah in that time frame of the 40 days, which is interesting when we see how they place the gods of Egypt film. It seems that they know as part of the time frame as well. And we talked about the verses regarding judgment on the gods of Egypt, but we also talked about how the half shekel, the idea of atonement being due on the first of the year, back during when the temple was still around, but then since then, it's been customary to collect it on Purim. So we're almost finding ourselves wedged between those two right now. So again, I don't know what's going to happen over the next few hours and over the next few days, but keep in mind that this entire week is very significant, and we need to keep watch and alert, and we must be ready. There's a lot coming together, and it looks like things 
just looking at the news with the, the massive armies being gathered in Saudi Arabia right now and with the very tenuous ceasefire agreement and, and Syria, there's so much going on right now, definitely building. We can definitely see that the Jonas sign is probably related to some things happening very soon. We don't know what's going on for sure, but we can expect a shadow of something apparently to occur very soon. So that's our radar update for today. Be sober, be vigilant, and most of all, be ready. Serve Christ first and highest above all else. Maranatha.